Welcome back dear students. In this video, I am going to discuss how to write a python program to read a multi-digit number as characters from the console and print the frequency of each digit with a suitable message. Let's see what is the outcome of watching this video. At the end of watching this video, you will be able to write a python program to read a multi-digit number from the console and print frequency of each digit with a suitable message. If you see the program statement dear students, we are supposed to write a python program to read a multi-digit number but very important thing is this multi-digit number should be read as characters not as integer. Nothing but this multi-digit number should be read as a string. And so this multi-digit number should be read from the console and later print the frequency of each digit with a suitable message. Before proceeding further, let's see what is string. In Python, a string is a sequence of characters. It is one of the built-in data types used to represent textual data. Strings in Python are immutable, meaning their values cannot be changed after they are created. Means once the strings are created, we cannot modify the string. We can create a string by enclosing a sequence of characters within single quote or double quotes or even in a triple quotes. And there are many built-in methods in Python to manipulate and work with strings. To implement this program, we are going to use a dictionary. So let's see what is a dictionary. In Python, a dictionary is a built-in data type that is used to store and manage collection of key value pairs. It is also known as an associative array or a hash map in other programming languages. Dictionaries are mutable, unordered and indexed collections. Each key in a dictionary must be unique and it is associated with a corresponding value. The key value pairs are separated by colon and pairs are separated by commas. Dictionaries are enclosed in a curly braces. For example, dear students, if you see, there is a one dictionary where the dictionary name is person is equal to here name is a key and dhnana is a value. Age is a key and 3 is a value. City is a key and Bagalkot is a value. If you see here dear students, name, age and city, all these 3 are keys whereas Dnana 3 and Bagalkot are values. So hope you know about the dictionaries and strings. More about strings and dictionaries, you go through the videos in a playlist. Now let's proceed further. Let's see the algorithm to read multi-digit number and print frequency of each digit. In step 1, we will get the input and in this case, the input is we need to read a multi-digit number as characters from the console. In step 2, we are going to create an empty dictionary to store digit frequencies and in step 3, for each character in multi-digit number, check if the character is a digit. And if it is a digit, then we are going to update the digit frequency in the dictionary. We will repeat from the step 3 for each character in the input string. Means from step 3 to step 7, we are going to repeat for each character in a multi-digit number. So we will take a one character from a multi-digit number. We will check whether it is a digit. If it is a digit, then we will update its frequency in a dictionary. Then we will repeat the same thing from step 3 to step 7. If the checked character is not a digit, then we don't do these steps. We will directly go to the next character to check whether it is a digit or not. And at the end, we are going to display the frequency of each digit. What is the expected output? Once you print enter a multi-digit number, user is going to enter the number. Like in this case, this is the multi-digit number which will be read as a string and later frequency of each digit in a given multi-digit number has to be printed like this. If you see here frequency of 7 is 3 
because 7 appears 3 times in this and frequency of 5 is 2, frequency of 3 is 2 because 3 appears twice, frequency of 2, 4 and 1 all 3 are 1, 1 each because if you see here 1 appears only once and even 4 appears only once and 2 appears only once. With this, let's start coding. Here dear students, I am going to use Ubuntu operating system. I use the terminal to edit the program and execute it. Let me use vi editor and name of the program I will give it as program underscore 4 dot py. Here first and foremost, I am going to use a comment for writing a program statement. The program statement is python program to read multi digit number as characters and print frequency of each digit. So this is the program statement. First and foremost in first step what I am going to do is I am going to read a multi digit number as characters nothing but as string I will read it. For that purpose I will take a one variable called multi underscore dzt underscore num like multi digit number. So let me write it as a digit itself multi digit underscore num is equal to here the multi digit number should be read as string because of that directly input enter a multi digit number. Once the user will enter multi digit number it will be read and stored in a variable called multi underscore digit underscore num. After this whatever I write later will be the logic to find the frequency. Frequency is nothing but occurrence of each digit. For that purpose first and foremost let me create a dictionary called frequency underscore digit. I am going to create empty dictionary creating empty dictionary to store the frequency of each digit. So later for every character I should check whether it is a digit. For every car in multi underscore digit underscore num for every character in multi digit number first and foremost I am going to check whether that character is a digit or not. To check whether character is a digit there is a method called is a digit. I use that method if char dot is a digit means if it is a digit then is equal to if it is a character I am going to add this character to a dictionary. For that purpose I am going to use a special method in a dictionary frequency underscore digit that method is dot set default char. Look at dear students here set default is a method in a dictionary because of that I have called this on a variable frequency underscore digit. Frequency underscore dot set default I am adding character to a dictionary and if it is not there in a dictionary it will be added and its value will be set to 0. The character will be added as a key and its value will be set as 0 if it is not present in a dictionary. Like beginning the dictionary will be empty. Initially whatever the character first character is there it will be checked whether it is a digit. If it is a digit that particular character will be added to the dictionary and its value will be set to 0. And if it is already present then it will not add that to a dictionary. But after executing this statement we are going to increment the value by 1 because it has occurred first time we have added it but now we are going to increment its count for that purpose frequency frequency underscore digit of this char I will write it as plus is equal to 1. It is nothing but frequency underscore digit of character is equal to frequency underscore digit of character plus 1. This particular statement is going to add the digit to the dictionary if it is not present. This will increment the value of a digit by 1. If the character is a digit it will be added to the dictionary and its value will be 
set as 0 and later its value will be incremented by 1. If it is not a digit, then these two statements will not be executed. And if it is a digit and if it is already present in a dictionary, then this statement will not add it. Instead, it will directly increment its value by 1. Now, this will be repeated for all the characters in a dictionary. And at the end, we are going to display the value, display the frequency of each digit. So, for that purpose, first and foremost, let me use print function. Print frequency of each digit in a multi-digit number is and let me use a for loop for digit comma frequency in frequency underscore digit dot there is a method called items so look at dear students for each digit and frequency in frequency underscore digit dot items basically this frequency underscore digit dot items it is going to return a set of key value pairs in a pair, the first will be key and the second one will be value. Means the first will be assigned to digit and the second one will be assigned to a frequency. Means there will be key value pairs in that here the digit will be key and the frequency will be value. And for each key and its value, we are going to print it. Like here, print, how do I print? Frequency of, I will consider this as one string. I will use a format string f here frequency of frequency of digit and colon afterwards that digit I am going to print afterwards I am going to print its frequency that is nothing but freq look at dear students this is a format string how it is going to print here in place of a flower bracket and a digit it will print the digit and in place of flower bracket and frequency, it will going to print the occurrence of that particular digit. And let me save this. To execute, I am going to use Python 3 interpreter. Enter a multi-digit number. Let me enter one multi-digit number. Now you can see 4 appears 5 times. Frequency of 4 is 5. Frequency of 5 is 1. Frequency of 3 is 2. And frequency of 2 is 1. Here, if at all you don't want to see dot, remove the dot here. Let me save this. Once again, I will execute this. This time, I am going to enter one more number. You can see frequency of 4 is 3. Frequency of 7 is 3 because 7 appears 3 times. 4 appears 3 times. Frequency of 1 is 1. Say for example, dear students, along with the digit, if you add any character, it will not going to count the frequency of that particular character. It will going to just count the frequency of a given digit. If it is digit, then only it will going to count it. So, this is the program. Very simple program. Initially, we are going to read a multi-digit number. Later, this is the logic to find the frequency where we have created an empty dictionary. Later, for every character in a multi-digit number, we will check whether given character is a digit. If it is a digit, we are going to check whether it is there in a dictionary. If it is there in a dictionary, we will not add it. Instead, if it is not there in a dictionary, we will add it with a value 0. Nothing but key will be a character and value will be 0. And after adding it, we are going to increment the digit value by 1. And finally, we are going to print the key and value of that dictionary. Here, digit is a key and freq will be a value. So, that can be done using the items method of a dictionary. For key and value in a, this particular set of pairs. For every pair, it will going to take a digit as a key and freq as a value and a digit will get a key, freq will get a value and that will be printed here. Hope this is clear to you dear students. Thank you. Thank you for watching.